I'm Zachary Fowler and you're watching my extra channel and today we're reviewing the Jackery Explorer 2000 Plus. This is a power pack designed for survival. So whether you need to power up those laser rifles, operate a secret command center and fight the robot hordes, or you just wanna go camping with a few extra electrical amenities and enjoy yourself. And the best part is you don't have to be a rocket scientist. And it's safe. It's a plug and play system. You just set it up to meet your needs. With an extended battery pack, Let's unbox these and see how they could power your adventures or save you in a grid down situation. You may have seen on my other channel, Fowler's Maker Mischief, we've been using the Jackery 3000 Pro to build the tiny house. This is a newer model. It's more designed for your total home power and or a grid down survival type situation or even powering a full on camp. And if you were watching my other channel, you saw the 3000 was able to run table saws, skill saws, compressors, and actually all three of those at the same time for the build. You got a lot of power out there, man. Now you might say, why get a 2000 when you get a 3000? Well, the 2000 has less total watt hours, but unlike the 3000, it has a battery extension. You can get up to five batteries to extend the juice on this thing and have over 12, I believe it was 12K watt hours on this, which the average home, let's see. What does the average two person home use for watt hours a day? Average electricity usage for two person home is 29.30 kilowatt hours per day. That is so 29, almost 30 kilowatt hours per day for the average two person home. So that tells me that in a grid down situation, should you have this power pack and the five extended battery packs all charged up, you'd have more than enough to power your fridge and a minimalist lifestyle and still have plenty left over to dig through those DVDs and watch a movie in the evening, maybe even watch TV all night. But in a true grid down situation, it's not like you're gonna have a lot of time on your hands because you're gonna be out there foraging for food. There's some berries and things which you have to know the wild plants, so. I say, you know, go prepared and have the tools you need to survive. But who knows where we're gonna end up in a grid down or apocalypse. Maybe you're just looking at these power packs as a overland situation, tiny house, camper, camping and glamping situation. It'll give you the ability to power your adventure and the ability to do some construction work like you've seen me doing on the tiny house and still have a lot of electricity left over at the end of the day. With the 3000 Pro, I've only ever used 20% of the power pack while running power tools and solar charging it at the same time. I mean, this power pack's so awesome, even Chris Pratt took it on a glamping adventure. And enough power to grill this fish, which I caught in Yonder Creek with the real pole and everything. So let's unbox the Jackery Explorer 2000 Plus and the extended battery pack and see if it lives up to the quality that all their other builds have. I have to say one of my favorite things about Jackery is these pretty orange boxes. I got the usual little bag with the uh, charging cords and stuff. Here, here we go, oh, pull it around the box. I do love the fact that they use lithium ion batteries because it's, it keeps the weight down. I mean, I'm. Not a hugely strong guy. I'm in shape enough, but like, I suppose somebody, maybe your grandma couldn't lift this up and put it on the table, but she wouldn't have to because you got this nice, easy roll it around like a suitcase type situation handle. Unlike the old ones, which used to have a handle on top, this gives you the ability to stack those extended battery packs. Let's pop that open. Whoo, holy mega cable. That's gotta give you that ability to move the juice from the extended battery pack to that instantaneously and causing no delay. You don't have to like run this down and then let this charge it up. It's like you have all the power at your fingertips from the moment you plug it all in and they're connected. Very cool. Now the extended. Uh, it always comes with like 30% free power when you get one of these right off the bat. They always. You have to charge them. And this one, let's see what we got. 32, I'm gonna guess. Oh! I did not cheat. That was all straight up in the little bag. That's another nice thing about the Jackeries. Because they're plug and play, 
Um, I looked at when I used to live off grid, uh, building my own solar setup and I built a minimalist one and it was always, the batteries were always dead, something was always going wrong and I'd go to use it at night and I was always running out of power. Every time I've had one of these on with me on an adventure, it's, it saw me through the night and charged up really quickly with the solar panels. I got too much on my plate to spend a whole bunch of money on fancy batteries and all that stuff and then find out that it doesn't work exactly as it said it was gonna work. All right, got our nice orange cords, which I love because you can't lose these. I mean, you'd really have to try to lose this if you wanted to lose this cord. And we got our two adapters for your solar panels to go on the back. A uh, cigarette lighter cord set up here so you can plug it in and be charging it in your vehicle as you're going down the road. Let's see, now, let's say we stack that on top of there and you got A on your cord and B, you can't screw it up. Now we're hooked up. And on the back of your extended battery pack, here's where your next A would go. If you were to stack up to five more units, you'd just be daisy chaining them together. This heavy cord does take a bit of space up and if you're daisy chaining them together, you're gonna take up about that much space more than your units. So that big cord's the price you pay for being able to daisy chain five of these together and getting 12,000, was it 12,000 watt hours, right? And, but you may only ever need just the base unit. And if my tiny house builder showed me anything, I could be able to do a project off-grid, building a cabin, working on that cabin all day long, even in the woods with complete shade and using no solar panels and have a full day's worth of work on the, this, this unit right here. Jackery's always been very good about this. They provide you with more than enough ports to do everything you need. We got two USB-Cs, two USBs. We got a regular DC, your, the old uh, power outlet, cigarette lighter type outlet there that you'd have in your car. And so when you're running any of these outlets and you're charging something or running something with constant power, it's going to tell you right up here how many hours you'll be able to run it. And lastly, you got your 30 amp RV plug. You plug your RV into this and run your whole camper on it and you're good to go. So before we get down and dirty with the super numbers for you nerdy folks, let's take a look at plain and simple what this thing can really do. That's a lot of power. Three power tools at once, two major power tools, the chop saw. That draws the most. Surge could trip the breaker because that's 2,900 at surge. And it still didn't trip it even though I was running the table saw at the same time. Chris with the router. I'd say power tools, totally awesome. Refrigerator. And not just any refrigerator, this is a Truly American fridge. This is America. This is what we were promised. I mean American because it's lots of cubic inches of uh, refrigerator in here. That's how America does it. Tons of space. Giant freezer. And isn't that the American dream? We got nine. 9.3 on the main battery pack and you add the extended battery packs. That's 55.8 I believe. That's a lot of time to have the power out. Real world test. This is a 1,500 watt heater. Oh, I get it helps if you turn it on. Turn the heater on to high. 1,470 something watts. Wow, that's, that's a lot of heat. And it's totaling out at 1.3 hours. I mean, that's a huge consumer of juice, so that's not a surprise. And just on low, if you were trying to emergency powers out, you got no other heat, your electric heater. Looks like 2.9, almost three hours. Add the extended battery packs and you'll have 17.4 hours on low to heat your space while you're waiting for the power to come back on. Always such a beast. I don't know why somebody can't make them lighter. Look at our medium sized AC. Plug that in. Turn that on. Ooh. 
nice. You got air conditioning. On cool, on high. There we go. She's running cool on high. 13.9 hours. That's 83 hours fully spec'd out. That's 83 hours of saving somebody's life. Think about it in a brownout situation, which is the power goes out in a warm climate. People always think about the power going out in a cold place and they gotta run a heater or run the power to their heater so your monitor heater still works. Because almost every heater I mean, it requires a thermostat outside of a wood stove, right? Yes, heating and air conditioning. But there's the brownout situation. People in Florida, grandma down in Florida, the power goes out. She's a hot grandma. Now grandma's sweltering. So with just this alone, you could rescue her for 17 hours and 88, what was it, 88 something hours if you're fully spec'd out with the five extended battery packs. Charger up real quick before we do any more. 1,400 some odd watts and 2.4 hours to be fully charged. And, hey, what's going on? Stealing the box? This is like kids, typical, right? Like you can get them all the toys in the world and uh, they'll play with the box. Uh, I guess I don't need that. Have fun with it. While that's charging, let's open up the app. This is a pretty darn fancy feature to be able to have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi with these. Go into the Jackery app and we got our 3000 Pro in there. Now we're going to add a new unit. It popped right up in the app real quick and I just hit connect. It didn't take more than a couple minutes and I had it connected through the Bluetooth and then the Wi-Fi so you can reach it from anywhere. Once you're fully connected, you're able to monitor how fast it's charging. You can turn on and off your outlets. There's even an extra quiet charging mode, which I don't see the need for because it's already super quiet as it is. And when you're running something, you can see how much time you have left on your power pack before she's dead or you need to put some more charge into it. So in conclusion, get the Jackery Explorer 2000 Plus and you have 2000 watt hours. Extend that to 12 by getting five of the extended battery packs. So you can even double down on that, connect two of these fully optimized units and have 24K watt hours. These things have 10 year long lasting endurance with the same battery structure that Tesla uses. Jackery's industry leading charge shield technology means it's safer and fast charging faster than most of the other products out there on the market, which means you can get a full charge on this thing when you plug it into the wall in two hours or in two hours when you hook it up to six of their Saga 200 watt solar panels. That's fast. Unlike a generator, this thing has whisper quiet technology, puts out less than 30 decibels when you're charging and the fans are cycling up on here. If you're a bird watcher, it's not gonna scare away the birds. Yeah, but the birds are still here. If you're just like the quiet, you're gonna love this. And with the smart app control, you can monitor everything that's happening on your Jackery without even having to get out of your lazy boy. And despite its large amount of power output, it's not a large space consumer. It won't mess with your feng shui. It'll be out of the way and ready to go for whenever you need it. And the best part of all, it's a plug and play system, meaning you don't have to be a rocket scientist. It's easy to use. It's easy to expand on it so that you can have more power. It's easy to hook up to the solar panels. It charges easy. The display tells you everything you need to know and you don't have to waste any more time on it. And even if we end up in an apocalypse and turns out that Frodo didn't destroy the ring and the Dark Lord Sauron returns, you'll still have power for your little hobbit home or your bigger home should we end up in a grid down situation. So I gotta get on with building the tiny house and we're gonna head over there and keep using this to finish that tiny house project on my Fowler's Maker and Mischief channel. If you haven't seen it already, there's already two parts out using the Jackery Explorer 3000 Pro for the first two parts and now we're going to use this to finish up the project and wire it to be able to run off of this when we're over there having our adventures on the lake. So I'll put that link in the description below so you can see more of this thing in action during that series. And if you want to know more about the Jackery Power Packs or we've managed to already sell you on one, check out their link in the description below right there at the top. Go to Jackery, pick out the power pack and the solar panels and the extended battery packs that'll suit your needs. And when you do put it in your cart, don't forget to use the code Fowler. Hold on, it's not just Fowler, it's plus Fowler if you want that 10%. On checkout, and you can get in on an early bird special and a continual discount later on that they'll be setting up for people that have been watching this video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Fowler out.